Hi. Uh, this is a general introduction to a uh, Moodle page, uh, more or less a setup in IT Sligo, but maybe of use to other people as well, uh, so that you can just get started in using Moodle. Normally, the first page you would see when you get Moodle would be a copy of our template page that we'd, we would send you for your first uh, Moodle course or module. So this is what it would look like. This is the template. Okay, the first thing I'd like to show you are the uh, breadcrumbs across the top here that help you navigate around Moodle. Here's like the front door of Moodle, as it were, when you log into Moodle. Uh, these are courses, and this one is classified into miscellaneous IT Sligo staff. Don't worry about that. What's probably most important is this here, the Moodle the short name for your Moodle module. Now here we're looking at the template that'll be different for the first page that you get. Okay, the next thing I'd like to show you is over here on the right, turn editing on. There's not a lot you can do with this page as a teacher, but if you turn editing on, it gives you access to a lot of other functionality. You can change things on the page, you can add things in, you can move things around. Okay, I'll talk to you about these in a second. Okay, now the third thing I'd like to show you is the sections. Here is uh, a, 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 your course tends to be divided up into a general section and then other sections. Now they can be organized as dates or they can be organized as topics. Okay, these ones happen to be broken up to dates from the date of the start of your course. Okay, I just wanted to bring that to your attention. This is the generic area, and it always shows, and these are the other areas, and they happen to have nothing in them at the moment. Okay, um, let's have a look. We have what are called blocks over on the left here. We have, there's an administration block, a, a navigation block. Okay, just pointing them out here, we go over maybe what they do later on, a news block, activity block, okay? You mightn't want those blocks on your course and may want to get rid of them. So you could get rid of a block, uh, the latest news block, drop that down, and you could delete it or hide it so you can get it back later, okay? That might be a better thing to do. Another thing you can do is if those blocks are taking up too much room, you can uh, dock them out here on the left. So if I click this, that block has just probably disappeared out of picture for you. Uh, let's see if we can get it back into picture. Okay, there it is there. That's appeared up here. And let's see, the navigation block will put that out as well. So we have a bit more room on the screen now. Okay, and you can get into the details of the blocks, hover over the block title, and all the items that were in that block come back. Okay, have over the, hover over the navigation, they come back. If you want to get them back, just click on that, okay, and they're back. Okay, right, let's see what else we have here. Um, oh yes, all the items on your page tend to be listed just really as lines, as it were, lines of text, not terribly pretty, but very functional, okay, and you beside them you'll see certain icons, Okay, uh, uh, these icons only show, by the way, when you have editing turned on. So if I turn editing off, those icons disappear. Okay, turn editing on. Now let's see what the different icons are. This icon here is for moving items. You can pull and move items. Let's put that back where it was, okay. Okay, you can edit the text the description of the item so if I edit that click on that pen I can change what's written in here escape to cancel so I'll just click on escape okay and there are various other things you can do about that you can move it right that indents it a, that indents it a little bit okay Let me move back to the left where it was you can duplicate it make a copy of it for use elsewhere and we won't talk about assign roles or you can delete it or you can each item, depending what type of an item it has, it has s s certain settings, and you can get into those settings and edit them here. That's a thing that you do quite often. By the way, another way to edit settings is over here on the left. If the item is up, so you don't have to 
click on this so edit settings and it will give you a form and there's lots of lots of options for them and really you've got to learn about all the different types of items before you start figuring out what all these options are and even then you probably will ignore a lot of them and just use the most common ones so I'll just cancel that because I'm not going to make any change to those settings okay right uh, yes the next thing is what if we want to add something to the page okay and that's here under add an activity or resources two types of things you can add to a Moodle page an activity and a resource a resource is something that the student can use to get information generally we don't Moodle doesn't track anything about how that's used it may track that the student just clicked on it but that's it but an activity might be something that the student is required to do like answer a quiz and it would keep track of the answers given when the quiz was taken or submit a file or something like that and there's a record kept of what the student did if we click on add an activity all the activities are listed first quite a few different types of activities that you can add to your Moodle you'll probably just use one or two of those okay and then down at the bottom are what are called resources the most common things that you would probably use here is uploading a file like a Microsoft Word or PowerPoint file or uploading or creating a little page yourself in other words uh, that opens and you would edit the page and uh, that will just open when the student clicks on it or really useful because there's all those great resources out there on the World Wide Web um, uh, a, a link to another website strangely called a URL but that's what it is a link to a website out there and there are separate videos available on how to do that okay so that's how you add items to the page okay and uh, that's really it that's really a uh, an overview of your uh, module template that your your new Moodle module that will send you whenever you want to create uh, uh, a, when you want to supply a Moodle page for your students okay listen thanks for listening to this rambling video I hope it's been useful bye now